Welcome to the Office of the Westchester County Clerk's Property Records Electronic Portal, or PREP System, tutorial series. And also welcome on behalf of Westchester County Clerk, Tim Idoni. Today's PREP tutorial will teach us how to enter a deed in the PREP system, including the creation of the transfer tax forms. To begin, let's navigate to the PREP system at prep.westchesterclerk.com, and then log in using your username and password. Next, create a package and add your deed to the package by clicking Creating a Package, giving your package a name so you can identify it later, then choosing Deed as your document type and clicking Add Document. You are now taken to the Party tab of the PREP system where you're going to enter all of the parties to the document. You can start off by entering your first grantor, his or her address, and social security number, and then clicking Add Party to move the party from the data entry fields to the grid below. Continue adding each party to the transaction and clicking Add Party to add each one to the grid at the bottom of the screen. After entering the original grantors, you can change the first field to Grantee and enter the purchaser or purchasers. Addresses and social security numbers, or EINs, are required for each party, as this information is required on the tax forms. The only exception would be if a party is not required to be on the tax forms, such as a trustee to a trust, in which case you can uncheck the boxes for the TP584 and RP5217, and those parties will be left off the tax forms. The actual trust, however, must be entered with an address and EIN number, which will appear on the tax forms. If you notice that you've made a mistake on one of your parties, you can click on you can click edit on the line for that party and then go into the field requiring a change. Make the change and then click update party. When you're all finished entering your parties, in the bottom right corner, you can click next. On the property tab, we're going to enter all the properties being transferred by the deed. Like the Party tab, we enter the information in the fields at the top and then click Add Property to add each property to the grid at the bottom. All the cities, towns, and villages in Westchester County are listed in the drop-down lists provided. If you can't find the municipality you are looking for in the drop-down, the most common reason is because it is a village, and you must first choose the town before the village will appear in the village drop-down. Again, if you make a mistake, you can click Edit make changes in the data entry fields, and click Update Property. If a property has multiple tax designations, the property should be entered for each tax lot. If this is the case, you can use Copy Previous Property in the upper right corner to copy the details of the property into the data entry fields, and then you can simply change the lot number and click Add Property. You will see that the property is added a second time to the grid below, and this time the second tax de designation. Once all properties have been entered, you can click Next in the lower right corner. On the Taxes tab, you're going to enter the basic details of your deed in order to calculate the amount of transfer tax due, and then you'll create your transfer tax forms. You'll start by entering the date of conveyance, consideration, and any other details necessary to calculate the transfer taxes, and then click Calculate Taxes. You'll notice that once you enter the date of conveyance, the document date automatically copies that value into the document date field. The same is true of the consideration and sales price fields. That is because the document date and sales price are typically the same as the conveyance date and consideration, respectively. You can, however, change the values that populate these fields if, for instance, the deed was executed and then held until a condition is met, resulting in the conveyance occurring on a different date than the execution of the document. Or if the property is transferred pursuant to a foreclosure, the actual consideration paid could be different from the sales price, which would be the amount of the foreclosure judgment. Once you've entered the basic information, you can click Calculate Taxes and you will see the transfer tax calculated and displayed in the grid below. If the seller qualifies for an exemption from some or all of the transfer taxes, you must choose the exemption from the exemption drop-down list. If the exemption requires additional information, you'll be prompted to enter it in a pop-up box. After calculating the taxes and adding any exemptions, you can create your first tax form by clicking Create on the line for the RP5217. You'll see that the RP5217 opens on your screen and looks the same as the paper form, which you can fill in exactly as you would have on paper. 
the information that you previously entered in the prep system has automatically filled in and the remaining information can be entered into the blue data entry fields. You can scroll down the page filling in all the necessary information and then click save at the bottom of the form. If you left out any information required to be on the form, you'll be prompted to fill it in that field or fields before it will allow you to save. Once all the required information has been entered and you click save, the form will close and you will be returned to the taxes tab where you will see that the form is now saved and you will be able to edit, delete, or print the form. Now you can click create on the line for the TP584 and that form will open for editing also appearing the same as the TP appears on paper. Again, the party, property, and other information you already entered is pre-filled in the form, and you only need to fill in any additional details of the transaction required in the TP. If you try to click a checkbox and find that it is unavailable, that is because it is associated with an exemption, which should have been chosen from the drop-down on the previous screen. You can then close the form by Xing it out in the upper right corner, choose the appropriate exemption on the Taxes tab, and then click Create to go back into the form where you will find that you can now check the appropriate boxes. Once you have entered all the required elements, you can click Save to close the form and return to the Taxes tab. Now that you have saved both of your tax forms, you can click Print for each form and print the forms to take to the closing, or you can click Next in the lower right corner to continue entering the information for your deed cover page. Next, you arrive at the cross-reference tab. On this tab, you can enter the control number or library and page of a document that needs to be cross-referenced to this document. In this case, you're recording a deed, which typically wouldn't have a cross-reference unless it was a correction deed, which would need to be cross-referenced to the original deed. You can simply click Next in the lower right corner to proceed to the Fee Calculation tab. On the Fee Calculation tab, the PREP system needs to know the number of pages of the document you are recording to calculate the statutory recording fee. Once you enter the page count, simply click Calculate Fees on the right to see the total amount due below. Please count only the number of pages of your deed and don't include any cover pages or tax forms. Click Next in the lower right corner to continue to the Record and Return tab. On the Record and Return tab, Enter the address where you would like the documents returned once they are recorded. If you want them returned to your address, you can click the address book link and select an entry there. Your address book automatically contains the address you entered when you created your PREP account. You can click Set Default if you want your address to pre-fill the Record and Return tab in the future. Click Select on the line for your address and it will fill the Record and Return fields. If instead you type an address into the fields, and you want to have other documents returned to that address in the future, check the Save to Address Book box. Now click Finish in the lower right corner and you will return to the My Packages screen, having finished entering all the information for your deed cover page. Now that you've entered all the information for your document's cover page, all you have left to do is click Pay, enter your payments to create your payment cover page, and then click Print and print your cover pages and tax forms. You can now click Submit to transmit the data to our office where it will be matched to the physical documents when they are received. If you are registered for e-recording, instead of printing the cover pages, you would have scanned and uploaded your documents, and when you clicked Submit, the documents would immediately be received by this office and would enter the examination queue for processing. Thank you for watching this prep tutorial. Please visit us online and check out our other tutorials at www.westchesterclerk.com or youtube.com slash the Westchester Clerk or facebook.com slash Westchester County Clerk or follow us on Twitter at WestCTYClerk. Thank you and join us again.